100 subs. 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 100. Okay, I'm not trying to break my fridge. <laughs> Hello and oh, hold on. Hello and welcome back to today's video. I hope you guys are all having the best day imaginable. It better be the number one best day. <laughs> now, if you are a fellow intellect, such as myself, of course, then you have already subscribed to the Julian Jagger YouTube channel. And those who haven't, not intellectuals, not at all, not even close, probably the farthest from an intellect through uh, into <laughs> the only way you can have a thousand IQ, such as myself, of course, is by subscribing to the Julian Jagger YouTube channel. <laughs> and I don't even know if I've mentioned this yet, but I got a plan. <laughs> Ain't nothing more intelligent and baller than a plant, especially a bamboo plant. I can eventually cut these, make them into little blow darts, and I can shoot all the people that aren't subscribed to me. <laughs> so you better subscribe before I come for you. <laughs> All right, so all jokes aside, guys, welcome back to today's video. And if you can tell from the title, it is a special one indeed. Because just recently, we hit our first milestone. We, we were talking about 69 before. That's not a milestone. That's a, that's a good number. I almost said it, too. Not on my Christian server. But yeah, all jokes aside, guys, welcome back to today's video. It is a special one because I just recently hit 100 subs. What the f- what the f*** is that? <laughs> what do you mean? <laughs> How? <laughs> I was checking my analytics the other day, and I found a few things. One, I gained, like, basically a subscriber or two a day this month, which is, you know, gang gang, that's awesome. But I also saw... I also saw that only half of the people who watch my videos are subscribed to me. Less than half, just under. It's like 49%, I don't know. But y'all gotta subscribe, god damn it. I gotta pass PewDiePie somehow. No, don't subscribe to PewDiePie, that trend's over. New trend, subscribe to Julian. <laughs> Subscribe to Julian. <laughs> we need subscribers. <laughs> okay, it may seem uncanny of me to joke about asking for subscribers in a milestone video, but I'm just feeling really good today. I'm just cracking some jokes. Don't take them literally. But yeah, I did just want to say again, thank you for the 100 subscribers. You guys are awesome. As I've said in previous videos, it's a start, but it's momentum. That's all I need. I, I really don't know what to say right now. This isn't, I don't script my videos, if you couldn't tell. <laughs> but yeah, anyways, okay, all jokes aside, 100 subscribers, that came out of nowhere. That came really quickly, actually. And I was actually looking at it the other day because I was just like, damn, you know, the, even though it's not a lot, I can see the momentum. Like I can see my channel very, very slowly, but surely expanding. And it's all thanks to you guys. So I just wanted to give you guys a round of applause for subscribing. And if you haven't, you get no, you get no, then you get no clap, no clap. You are not intelligent enough to to know what a clap is. <laughs> but yeah, I'm really glad you guys are enjoying my content. I'm actually really getting more into making it. Uh, I've been having a lot of video ideas. I have a notepad in my phone and it's just, it's full of video ideas. Don't even think that I'm running out of ideas, all right? I got ideas for days. As an intellectual, you can't even fathom the amount of ideas that I currently have. Yeah, I also have some projects that I want to start soon, maybe with some friends. I want to go places and I have plans. So if you've stuck around and are continuing to stick around for those plans and see this wonderful journey unfold, thank you. And you know, I just wanted to make this video letting you guys know you are appreciated and loved. I love you so much that if you order now, I will have your babies. No jokes, no scam, 100%. The second you click the subscribe button or the like button, I will be at your door ready with babies. <laughs> Call now and you can get two for the price of one. Oh my God, such a good deal. You should subscribe. <laughs> But yeah, I'm done rambling. I actually have a q and I posted on my Instagram story. Hey, give me questions. <laughs> okay, I didn't put it like that, but basically I asked you guys for some questions for the YouTube Q&A. So I got a few questions and I'm gonna give you guys a few answers. Okay, <laughs> so let's just jump right into it, guys. Oh, God damn it, I just broke. <laughs> oh no. 
I just broke my cat toy. Oh no, Bella loves this so much. I'm gonna repair it. I'll get some tape, I'll repair it. All right, so welcome to the Q&A section of the video. As I said before, I don't have too many questions. However, I do have a few that I can answer. <laughs> And thank you guys for actually submitting stuff because I actually, I did a previous one. I tried to get a Q&A going and uh, no, nobody submitted any questions. <laughs> so uh, yeah, that happened. But basically we did it again and uh, we got some questions here. So I'm gonna read them out for you. All right, so question number one. High five? <laughs> I don't, okay, this isn't even a question. I don't even know what, like, what does that mean? All right, yes, high five. Actually, no, duh, I got you. We got a high 10. No, a high 20. <laughs> got you, man. I got you with a high 20. All right, next question. Question number two, hey bro, you should come to Arizona to flip with us. And I actually might be doing that. That may be part of one of the projects that is coming up that I want to do. Please go away. I know your toy is broken. I'm sorry. But yeah, to answer your question, hopefully soon that will be happening. All right, next question. What color do you what color do you imagine your soul to be? You know, I haven't <laughs> I haven't really um hmm, I haven't really thought about that. I guess like purple, magenta, I don't know. I, I guess purple, like a radiant purple, I guess. I don't know, I, I, I'm kind of a purple guy, I like purple. And everybody gets pink confused with purple. Not pink, I like purple. Everybody's like, oh, you like pink? No, I like purple, they're two different colors. <laughs> but to answer your question, uh, black, just like, just like my heart. All right, next question. When are you doing a montage of parkour sessions? Uh, I can't tell if you mean like at Tempest or just outside like me training. I've already made some. They're a little earlier of videos, so if you look at those, you know, hopefully you like them. However, a lot of the upcoming projects that I am going to be putting into effect soon will contain a lot of parkour sessions and montages. Like I'll make full edits out of them. I've been working a lot on editing and just scheduling my time, just kind of really trying to uh, use my time. But to answer your question, I know these are kind of long. However, to answer your question very soon, I will be doing one very soon. All right, so next, question i miss you no homo but what is your dream car <laughs> this comment's good just because the no homo i mean okay so to give a little context this this guy he's from high school he's from some previous years of high school uh we used to hang out <laughs> and i haven't seen him in probably the last year or two so yeah i miss you too man it's been quite a while however i think i don't really know what my dream car is i feel like there's a lot more advancements in like cars and technology right now that i don't want to say this one because one might come out and i'm like mm, maybe that one but uh currently the tesla Model S. Uh, I think it's a Model S. I'm not really a SUV guy. I'm more of a, a low car fast boy. I'm fast, fast as fuck boy. boy. Also, my cat said, I don't know if you can see her. She's like right here. She is so mad that I broke her toy. All right, next question. How did you find out about Tempest and what got you into free running and parkour? All right, this is actually a really good question and I'm glad you asked it. I guess I'll answer the how did I get into parkour and free running and all that stuff first. Uh, a few years ago, I was traveling uh, around the US actually in a car and I don't wanna tell this full story right now. This is probably for a later date or another sub special. But basically I was traveling around the US and um, with that came a lot of just out outdoor activities. We were just in a Jeep and we traveled around the US. But basically I just started climbing things while we were out because uh, we didn't have any electronics. I didn't have a phone. I didn't have anything. My stepbrother at the time had a DS, but that's basically it with like one game. Pokemon Black, shout out to you. You got me through that trip. But yeah, basically it all started when I was traveling and my mom did have a phone and sometimes I'd watch videos on her phone while we were traveling in the car. And I would see these people are awesome videos. This was a fad in like 2014, 2015, I think. I'm not sure exactly when. It's basically just a montage of people doing really cool things. <laughs> Skydiving, parkour, uh, wingsuiting, you know, like just a bunch of really, really cool adrenaline 
kind of stuff. And I started seeing a lot of free running and parkour in these videos. I actually, I, I have one video, I remember it just because of the thumbnail. But uh, it, it's it's a one video that that really caught me onto parkour. But basically, I saw this video and it really really inspired me. Uh, we were traveling, we got out of the jeep, and the second I got out of the jeep, I started jumping on some rocks and stuff. It, it was just immediately. I loved climbing things and I still do like I have had multiple thoughts about like how much better it would be if we just didn't have housing <laughs> just just the amount of things I could climb <laughs> but yeah basically I just saw those videos I really started climbing uh, like boulders while we stopped then I started doing jumps and then eventually through those videos and other athletes I also found out about where they trained and uh, one of the places was Tempest Free Running Academy North County the first time I stepped into Tempest it was like it, it was like Christmas when you're when you're a little kid like that's the feeling I felt as soon as I stepped in Tempest I was like holy shit I'm about to go insane on this place <laughs> I, I started parkour about two and a half years ago I'm not including the climbing and stuff that's not parkour but I actually actually started committing to parkour uh, almost two and a half years ago now. Ooh, okay, that question took quite a bit of time, so I gotta kind of skim through these just because uh, my SD card's running out. <laughs> As always, it's a wonderful little theme with these videos. All right, so next question. Worst injury gotten from parkour? Um, I haven't gotten a really bad injury, I wouldn't say. Uh, I have a little uh, scar on my shin because I shinned a jump. <laughs> Probably the worst place to ever hit on your body. Like, you don't call this the funny bone because when you hit this, it's somewhat funny. It's not fun to hit your shin. Not not even close. Like, <laughs> it was not fun. My leg was bleeding for quite a while. Describe your ideal girl. Mm, right here. This is my ideal girl. Right here. This is probably the most attractive being on this planet. I don't know, probably somebody with like a black soul, same as mine, purple, I don't, I don't know. I don't know what color my soul is. I'm still tripped up on that question. Cause like, <laughs> what do you mean? I don't, I don't really describe my ideal girl. I, I don't know, uh, understanding. I can't really ask for too much. Just a, a girl that isn't batshit crazy, I guess. <laughs> I, I don't really know how to answer that one. I don't know what you're trying to get at here. Lil, Lil, what's your ideal girl? Wonder why you're asking. <laughs> And this is the last and probably my favorite question. This is also a friend from school a few years back. Hey dad, do you miss me yet? And to answer that question, no I don't. I'm still at the grocery store. These cigarettes are amazing. I'm just blowing through them. Oh wow, that was a bad joke. All right. <laughs> but yeah, I miss you. What's up, man? I haven't seen you in quite a while. It's been it's been a minute We we will have to catch up soon and we will most definitely have to um, hang out <laughs> Thank you for submitting your questions. I loved answering them I only got like a few questions, but I hope you guys enjoyed it and I'm gonna do the outro back in the kitchen <laughs> Actually, I'll fix your toy now all right, we back from the Q&A. It was really fun answering your guys' questions. Uh, it, uh, I know I didn't get a lot of questions, but you know, I'm, I'm a small, I'm a small boy. <laughs> I'm a little small boy who's expanding very slowly. I'm getting thicker. <laughs> Instead of getting smarter when you click the subscribe button, I just gain thickness. <laughs> At like a thousand subscribers, you just see me like overflowing. I'm like 1200 pounds. <laughs> but anyways, guys, thank you again for the questions. Again, 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 thank you for the hundred subscribers. It really does mean a lot to me. Like all jokes aside in this video, I am actually wholeheartedly thanking you guys because it's amazing. <laughs> it's really amazing to start seeing something unfold. But yeah, that's about it for this video, and I will catch you guys on the flip side.